if Fredo made you wanna buy Nike Dark clothes, don't do it. Before watching this review, you might recall that I've been on the hunt for the next best summer shoe, as Air Force Ones have gotten boring. And I think I may have found it in the Nike Dunk Low. These are actually made from the same material as Air Forces, using the same leather. The overall design is actually very similar too, with big night ticks either side, along with two different Nike logos featured on the tongue and on the back of the shoe. You've also got the same holes on the toe box. So the only major difference in terms of design is the shape of the shoe. And this is where comfortability kicks in. Many would say, as amazing as the Nike Air Forces are, they can be quite heavy as they are a pretty bulky shoe. Whereas the Dunk Lows are not only smaller, but weigh a lot less, making them a lot more comfortable. I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of them at first, but once I slipped my foot in, they were amazing. The only downside is that I don't think they look very nice with slim jeans. However, I think they're perfect for flared and straight jeans and tracksuits, as they sit very nicely on top. They're even better with shorts which is why I'd say they're the perfect summer shoe. With these you'll buy a pair and they'll start off as your nice shoe but they'll soon become your everyday beaters and you end up buying another fresh pair just for occasion. Very similar to what people do with the Air Force One. There are several very nice colorways but the most popular one by far is the black and white panda dunk as they go with everything. I guess that's why people are calling them the new Air Force One.